the thing that breaks my heart is that San Francisco is losing so many amazing places. And for Anchor Steam to be lost, um, it's just uh, another huge loss for the city, which we cannot have. New at 10, beer lovers say goodbye to another San Francisco institution. They formed long lines to watch Anchor Brewing Company close its doors. But there's hope the company will make a comeback. Right now, we're just being hopeful that somebody, some bidder steps forward as part of the liquidation process. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck. Tonight, after 127 years, Anchor's taps in the city are dry. Beer lovers giving the company, though, a big send-off today. KTV's Alyssa Harrington joins us now with reaction from tonight's last call, new at 10. Alyssa. That's right, the final pour. The company brewed and bottled its final beers, and so many people visited the taproom for its final day that a line stretched all the way down the street. A lot of people tell me they are holding out hope the brewery can be saved. It breaks my heart. We had to come here for some last beers, get a couple of glasses. Yvette Vandenberg was one of many who came to the Anchor Brewing Tap Room Sunday for a goodbye toast. The popular tap room in San Francisco's Potrero Hill neighborhood invited customers in for one last pint for its final weekend. It's iconic. It's, it's San Francisco. So if Anchor Steam goes, it's just another sad, sad thing that we're losing in San Francisco. We ended up just getting... Um, like double fisting and like making yeah. sure we got our beers before like the line got longer. The turnout was huge with the line going all the way down the street. There was even a longer line inside for merchandise. Christmas sales poster. People scooped up posters, t-shirts, custom pint glasses and other memorabilia. I'm excited to bring home some of the history of Anchor Steam. You know, they got a couple of taps that they're letting go. Greg Lopez took home a Liberty Ale tap along with some cases of his favorite beer. It's heartbreaking because it's like it's been around for over 100 years and, and whatnot, but uh, at the same time, it's uh, we're, we're very hopeful that something else or some other company will come in and kind of like rebrand or uh, not rebrand, uh, bring in new life and maybe take it over. Anchor Brewing's owner, Sapporo, announced it would shut down the 127-year-old brewery due to declining sales. Some union employees offered to purchase the historic brewery and run it as a worker co-op. But Sam Singer, Anchor Brewing's spokesperson, said the company made it clear all assets will be handed over to a liquidator at the beginning of August. This has been very difficult on everyone at San Francisco, the employees of Anchor most of all. Singer said the brewery cannot extend operations because it is out of time and out of money. He said about two dozen bidders have shown interest so far. This is an historic beer that goes all the way back to the gold rush, and its history really can't be repeated. That's why it would really be wonderful if someone steps forward and keeps it going on for future generations. Anchor Brewing also gave out these Anchor pins to customers today. I was able to get my hands on one. Employees at the tap room did not want to talk on camera, and union members say they are working with Tuttle Law Group and Project Equity to try to buy the company and are asking for more access to data in order to make a legitimate offer. Reporting live, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Tonight